Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading. This is for Aquarius, all placements. If you find yourself here, there's definitely a message for you. So we are going to get guidance from the Abundance Angels, all right? What you need to know for the Abundance Angels. And we're going to do three, so all three might resonate with you, or you can just pick which one you want, okay? And it's going to be like, it's going to be a little bit different. I'm seeing like a clock and like a round robin type of thing. So when we do the tarot cards, that's how we're going to go. And we're starting with, we'll start with 12. So I'll put these cards here the oracle cards and then we'll go around okay so i almost feel like um certain numbers might resonate with you as well when we're going around the clock this is also representing the the wheel of um the wheel of fortune and it turning okay and things coming turning in your favor all right so <clears throat> here we go aquarius please I'll pull the cards first and then we'll read them. Eat them all. Abundance Angels, thank you. Ooh. Nice. So, first up we have, it is safe for you to receive. The more you allow yourself to receive, the more resources you have available to share with others. Open your arms to receive and be a conduit for the good coming to you, through, through you, to you, and through you, as it blesses the world. This is definitely Empress energy. So, being in your Empress energy and inviting peace and love into into your mind, into your heart. There's this energy too with the, the cloth down here, the energy of compassion. And she's also like, I don't know, she's making something. She's, oh no, she's giving the, the deer an apple, okay? So giving from a place of compassion, you know, um, not giving to receive, giving from your heart. Mm -hmm. A place of detachment. And with the dough, so it's interesting, it's divine feminine energy, definitely, but um, the energy of the dough, so what's been coming through is recommending like uh, the spiritual meaning of the dough and see what that com what comes out of that and also the spiritual meaning of the dove as well, okay? And some of you guys definitely are earth angels, so you're meant to share share your gifts and you're also meant to communicate them too as well. It is safe for you to receive. So working on the throat chakra and opening to receive, um, clearing the nadis, so moving your, your neck uh, from left to right while you're breathing. Okay, so breathing in and out. And then moving your neck um, down to so your chin reaching your chest and then your neck up, helping to clear that throat chakra. Also um, purifying mudra as well. I don't know what the name of this is, but it helps to purify the throat chakra. Okay. Yeah. I was going to do another one, but the way that I'm, I'm looking at, you can't really see it, but this one, this, this part is over your heart and these are like on your, on your chest, directing the energy up and you just saying, I am trusting and breathing that in. Okay. Detox your friendships. Your abundance flow is being affected by the people with whom you're spending time with. I just heard envy and jealousy are being directed towards you. All right, so we'll talk about that in a sec. So be discerning about your associations and relationships. Choose to be with the people who are inspiring you, generous and supportive. All right, so... It's some of your friend groups might need to change and that might be a hard change for you because it might be a person you really depended on, but they are envious and jealous, right? So they're sending that energy, that discord towards you. And at times when you're not in your strength, right, you're absorbing that energy. And so spirit says, one, you have to work on detoxing your energy and um, brightening your aura, strengthening your aura. I am strong is the affirmation that comes up. All right. And then follow your intuitive guidance after you've been saying that. And um, 
It'll come in the way of uh, physical movement. It'll come in the way of breath work. It'll come in the way of uh, foods to eat, supplements to take. It'll come in the way of uh, experiences, you know, to take or to go like, you know, driving to a different, to a national park or it might come into experience of like going to the movies or reading a different book. Like, so it'll come in different ways when you start saying, I am strong, you know, spirit will come in and spirit will make you strong. All right. Mm -hmm. to remove any blockages that are weakening or lowering your vibration and so also spirit is saying rather than having to always clear your energy you know from spending time with people that are envious and jealous of you just pull your energy completely back and kind of uh take a, a sabbatical you know like a three month six months time off from that person and give them the time that they also need to transform and transmute energy all right also, um, making sure that you say th things to neutralize any envy or jealousy, resentment within yourself. What God has done for others, he's not doing for me too and more, okay? Into your heart space. And you would just repeat that over and over again. And it will neutralize any kind of resentment you might be holding on to. Take a divinely guided chance, Okay. A positive change in successful ventures involve a degree of risk. You are ready to follow your divine guidance in new territories. As you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar but no longer appropriate for you, you make room for new and more meaningful opportunities. So this is like clearing the space, right? And allowing yourself to have this childlike energy and believing um, that it is possible. Whatever that change is for you, right? Mm-hmm. All right, let's go into the tarot cards. I feel like what's going to happen is it's going to go down and these might speak to this and these ones might speak to that. We'll see how it goes. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two of cups. I'm doing two decks, so I'm going to pull, pull it first. All right. Yep. Thank you. Ishnama. I'm going to turn her upright in a second. I don't read reversals. I read, I channel. So whatever comes through is going to come through whether it's in reverse or not. Okay. Ishnama. Ah, 12, 1, 2, 3, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, oh, 7, take all three I heard. Eight, nine, ten. Let me make sure I did it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. All right, so we're just gonna go around first. Is what I'm. Being directed to do so he says start at the 12 so two of cups coming in you fully surrendering to your heart and then we have the page of wands and you being able to allow yourself to go on this new adventure divinely guided by your guides the nine of pentacles whatever this new adventure is it is a wish fulfillment five of swords Okay, but there's this energy of you picking up the things that that you want and really letting go of the things you don't. I almost feel like you're you're holding too much, right? And it, it might be in the way of other people's thoughts as well. And then the Queen of Swords, you cutting that away, um, really using your words of affirmation and your writing to release, okay? And then we got the Eight of Pentacles and you mastering that. 
So you also mastering ways to uh, clear your energy to allow yourself to receive. All right. Mm -hmm. And you also mastering cutting away what does not serve you. Therefore, giving you the strength needed to really believe in yourself and move forward in some divinely guided chance. Yeah, look at that. And then we have Page of Cups. You really going after something that you love. And really, I feel like it definitely has to do something with your psychic abilities or it could be something creative as well uh, because of the Page of Cups. And then coming in with the Strength card, you having the strength to... Well, one, put things to bed, put things to rest because we have the four of swords coming out and I really feel like there's some kind of thoughts that you've been going around and around and around about and it's time to stop. It's time to stop letting yourself kind of go in that space where you keep thinking about a problem or an obstacle, right? Because it's just draining your energy. Or if you keep constantly thinking about a person, all you're doing is draining your energy and you're feeding theirs, all right? That's what's coming through. And then the chariot, you moving forward, okay, with the power of spirit in your heart, you align to your your new beginning, your divine destiny, and you trusting it with the full, okay? So whatever this leap, it's going to require you to trust, trustful energy is coming through. And then king of swords, wow, I love it because the king of swords and the queen of swords came out in another reading that we did. So this is really powerful because they're here again. And so your power to assume that you already have something or to assume um, that you have already received that which you asked for is really strong at this time and really growing. So also spirit is inviting you to stay in that place, okay? And so if you need help detoxing your friendships, ask for divine intervention. That's what's coming through on that. Um, or ask for the divine to give you the strength to see what it is that you haven't been wanting to see before, helping you to fully come into acceptance of what is happening. So that way you can stand in your power. And also, I'm I'm seeing releasing um, emotional attachment. So clearing up the sacral chakra, working with Archangel Gabriel. So, mm -hmm. okay. So we'll get a little bit deeper into uh, each card. This two of cups energy. Yeah, I gotcha. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this is definitely one, you falling in love with yourself or falling in love with a way that you you create money. And I was going to say make money, but they correct to me. They said create money. Okay, so I also feel like if this is resonating with you, you're embodying the Queen of Wands energy right now at this time. And so your ability to manifest your heart desire, your heart's desires is very high. And you need to know that because now is the time. Okay. Sixteen, the tower with um, with the page of wands coming out. All right, so you going off on a new adventure is going to lead to breaking down um, some foundations, and it might be relationships or friendships in your life. Really really coming into this and it's because you're going to be venturing off into new places um it could be physically new places but also uh, mentally emotionally spiritually new places where it's going to cause uh spiritual awakenings but it's going to cause things to that were not solidified in unconditional love to just fall so i almost feel like the divine is going to be coming in any way to help you to remove things from your life that are draining your energy or causing you to stay in a low vibration I'm being guided to say that all of these situations may apply to you or just a few, okay? But take what resonates. Don't try to make something fit to you, all right? You'll you'll know because you'll there'll be a synchronicity, a word or something that I say that just like gets your heart and you're like, ah, that's me, okay? Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> I just heard, always stay humble, okay? So that's another thing. Some of you guys are realizing your power, all right? So when you're re realizing your power, fear might start to come in and you might start to try to control things, right? And so stay in the energy of surrender. You know, I am humble. I am I am centered in my being, right? I do things from a place of unconditional love and detachment. So five of swords coming in on that. So interesting, all right, because that's here too. 
Nine of Pentacles and Five of Swords. So in this card, I almost feel like not everybody's on board, right? It's this energy of... Um, there's somebody that's creating so powerfully and they're like, I'm creating. And then there's another person that's looking on is like, oh my God, what's happening? I don't, I don't I'm, I'm afraid of the outcome. I don't know what's happening. And then there's this other um, presence that's over here that's like, I can't even look at what you're doing because I'm so scared that whatever you're going to create is going to cause harm. All right. And there's three cats down here that are transmuting this energy. So I almost feel like this is representing three different parts of your subconscious mind. You know, the, the control freak, um, the, the worrier, and then the person, the pessimistic person, right? And so what I feel like with the Nine of Pentacles, with the wish fulfillment coming in, is that you're going to be able to get control of all of these parts of your subconscious mind and release them and heal them, all right, so that you can move forward. And in moving forward, I do feel there's going to be some more dragons that you have to slay, some more limiting beliefs. Um, there's going to be there's going to be some healing that's going to be needed as well all right what i'm feeling from the five of swords let me come in here some of you guys might feel like you have to go back to the drawing board with a project or with a relationship um okay they said take it the moon 18 so it's this energy of mm, It's funny. I'm hearing like no man left behind. It's that. It's that. It, it, they're just rephrasing it for me. And so you're gonna really need to look at what you're holding on to. And we said this. And why? Okay. And then really, really transmute that out. And it's like holding on to it because of fear. Like, are you holding on to something because you're in, you're in fear of losing or you're in fear of not receiving, you know, like a relationship, okay? Or even a job this might be referring to, or even a friendship. You're afraid that if you cut this person off, you're not gonna have anyone to replace what it was that they were giving to you. Therefore, it's pointing out to you there's a codependency thing that you have to heal, right? Um, and this could be in the way of the job too as well as coming up really strongly. Yeah. So then we get into you reclaiming your power, okay? You coming in and you re reclaiming your power and you cutting away what doesn't serve you and you using um, your voice to do it, your writing to do it. Four of Pentacles. Yeah. And so in this card, the four of pentacles is all down at the bottom and the person is sitting on it. So also releasing uh, things like greed because of, of poverty, you know, of childhood trauma and that kind of a thing. And you finally getting off of your treasure and stop holding yourself back. So this is also the, the point in time where I feel you're really going to raise your vibration and release anything that's been holding you in a low vibration of feeling, uh, of fearing financial loss, of fearing um, scarcity, fearing not having enough or even not being enough those cards keep falling so that just reminds me of like the house of cards you know um and they it's like the big bad wolf kind of thing and the three little pigs is coming through and so again with this tower energy coming in that you what is it it's like you you can't have a strong foundation in a home built of cards, right? So it's like things that you, I almost feel, it's almost like this thing of you taking chances on stuff that wasn't divinely guided and then you building your house with that, right? And so the wind is going to easily blow the house of cards down is what is kind of coming through. And then you're not going to have that strong foundation. You're going to have to rebuild it. So this also, again, might be talking about relationships that you're going to have to start from the beginning. Whether you're starting from the beginning with the person you're with or you're starting from the beginning with a new person, um, 
uh, that that remains to be seen, right? Because we're not going that that far uh, into the, into the future or what have you. But spirit is also saying, I don't want to go that far. I want you to stay present in this, this very moment. So whatever, when you get to this place on your timeline, when you feel that you're don't want to spend money, when you feel like, um, you're holding yourself back when you're holding your words back, your expression, your communication, when you feel like your finances are flowing, this kind of thing is going to, the cause of it is because you're not grounded and you need to stay in the present moment. And then also you need to cut away any limiting beliefs, all right? Anything that says it's not possible, anything that makes you feel like you're not worthy, anything that makes you feel like you're not powerful, you got to cut it. And that includes relationships or people or jobs, okay? Yeah. The Eight of Pentacles, you coming into mastery and you feeling good, you and you recognizing it. Yeah. All right. The Death card, there it is. Every ending is a new beginning. Okay. Every ending is a new beginning and you coming into that mastery. Irshima Daba. I almost feel like you you recognizing your own power and you also recognizing that things that you've manifested because you've taken back your power is going to, again, it's going to lead you into this happiness, all right, with the Page of Cups coming out. Is there any more with that? It's going to lead you into abundance as well. And this could be, I'm seeing material abundance, but I also see abundance in happy, harmonious relationships because now you've aligned. Whenever you set your, your dial to 12, you're aligned. You're in that neutral energy. You're not hanging on too much to, um, you know, the future. You're not hanging on to the past. You're, you're right here and you're ready to receive. Okay. So page of cups, five of wands. Okay. Hmm. So there's also like I'm I'm looking at the cats. Like I see the inner conflict between uh, the emotional energy coming through, and it, I'm just hearing surrender, surrender, and so surrender to the things that transmutes your anxiety, that transmutes your overthinking, your overanalyze analyzing like surrender to doing those things, and it's going to automatically transmute for you. So that way you can let your inner child uh to live free okay that happiness that enjoyment that excitement you know also you know writing the words joy excitement joy excitement like writing it down one sheet of paper or saying it out loud are going to be very uplifting okay high vibration for you also writing just high vibrational words at this point is coming in because i still feel at this time now you're you're embodying that queen of swords energy and your your word is your wand okay Lawrence Scoble Shin. The strength card, yes, you're taking your power back. Strength and surrender, okay? Understanding that your power is in surrendering and letting go and releasing and allowing and letting divine love to flow through you and you being divinely guided. Yeah, because it's going to guide you. It's going to give you the legs that you need to take whatever leap you, you got to take. All right. And some some of this isn't like you know physical. It's just a leap in uh, a leap in consciousness, a shift in perspective. Three of Swords, yeah. So you also having the strength to address in the ways that you've been holding on to heartbreak. All right, how you've been holding yourself back, but you're gonna have the strength to move forward because I'm also seeing the Eight of Cups coming in. Ishtamadrota. One by one, okay. Ten of Wands coming in with the Four of Swords energy. So for me, I just see this as completion. As you allowing your mind to rest and you're going to release that anxiety. You're going to release that trauma. You're going to release limiting beliefs too. I feel that in here as well. But you're going to release that emotional turmoil, all right, that had come from whatever this heartbreak is. Okay, so I almost feel like it's it might be a hidden energy that once you come into this joy and excitement that you might be revealed and it might have something to do with childhood as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The chariot and the ace of swords. Yay, there we are. New beginning and mental clarity. And there's all these, like, I don't know. I feel like they're doves, but they might be bluebirds because they're all blue. And it's like you finally just 
almost finding the key and you moving forward to quickly um, releasing yourself from any kind of mental turmoil or any uncertainty, any distrust. Like you really finding the key to do that. And it definitely the key is in meditation. So there might be a new meditation that you're doing or that you find that really just helps you to let go and to empty. And then it helps you to come into alignment, right? Yeah. And then we got the Queen of Cups. Yay, with the Fool. So I feel like um, for a lot of you guys, she's also pregnant in this too. What's in her hands? Hold on. Oh, it's a, it's a seashell, like a, a clam. All right. And I feel like whatever is in this clam, for some reason it feels like it's not opening. But she's just giving it back so it also might be with the full card you trusting and releasing something that that hasn't opened to you right and it could be in a way of an emotional relationship where the person is not emotionally available or they're not physically available and you finally um seeing that and you allowing yourself to to just give it give it away and then you go through this new beginning so i'm actually seeing these cards crisscross which is interesting. So there might be some stuff with crisscross um, applesauce. Might be some stuff with communication coming through as well that you're going to release and it's going to allow you to confidently go into this new beginning trusting. Yeah. And also Queen of Cups, remember, she's the queen of self-love and self-nurturing. So it's like whatever might have been stopping you from fully loving yourself, nurturing yourself, um, forgiving yourself, uh also i'm hearing like adorn the temple so getting dressed um doing your uh your beauty routine and this is for men and women whatever it has stopped you from really loving your body loving your hair your eyes your skin your nails whatever i feel like you coming into that releasing these emotions or releasing things that just are not giving back to you you're gonna come into that full energy right and you're gonna just and you're gonna take off yeah, and taking off, fully believing in yourself with the King of Swords right there. Your confidence rising, your intuition on point. Feeling that really strongly, especially because uh, the Queen of Cups is is known as Pisces energy. There's some Virgo in there a little bit, and there's Scorpio. So Pisces and Scorpio in there, and you being able to really open up that heart, tapping into uh, your astral uh, body really strongly, okay? nine of swords yeah so this is interesting that um we did feel the ten of swords coming out and the nine of swords coming in so this is interesting i just heard okay i thank you chopping away anything that causes you to have sleepless nights all right so i think we did say about the um I forget if it was this reading or the, or the other reading where we talked about how you can remember your dreams. It's also a way that you can come into, um, okay, it was the other reading. So um, guided by your doctor, your nurse, you drinking like uh, chamomile, lavender, um, mugwort tea, all right, any of those things, I'm um, doing turmeric, golden milk. Um, also doing uh, ashwagandha root tea or anything like that is going to help you to calm before you go to sleep and also meditating before you sleep, doing your yoga or breath work before you sleep um, and also just setting the intention that you're going to release all, all anxieties, anything that would keep you from having a beautiful sleep before you go to sleep, okay? And then also setting the intention that nothing um, can penetrate your light body as you're sleeping. It's all cut off and transmuted. Mm -hmm. so that you can you can sleep easy so also this is what's also coming up with this is that you're going to get so good with the law of assumption that sleepless nights are going to be a thing of the past okay and whenever it might come back up to you it's because you know you have to clear your energy you have to let something go you have to cut something off all right I easily let go of all that does not serve me with unconditional love and grace. 
whenever you add grace to anything, it's WD-40. It just helps it to just go faster and to go easy, all right, and effortlessly remove whatever that is from your life or from your mind, body, or even spirit. And we're talking about karma and that kind of thing. All right, this was fun. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope this resonated with you. If it did, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button. Yes, yes, and yes, I appreciate that very much. But yeah, let me know what hit for you or the synchronicities. And also, if you wanted to do one, two, okay, listen, 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. All right, or one, two, or three. Let me know what really hit for you. What abundance angel was like on point speaking right to your heart? Yeah. All right, thank you guys so much. Namaste, everyone.